finish the race. I don't. A candid conversation caught on a hot mic on Michigan Senate floor Wednesday. I, I frankly don't take back any of the points of some of the words I chose. Republican State Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky seemingly doubling down on his capital conspiracy theories while talking with Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist. After the invocation, I let him know that I was going to be making a public statement about the comments that he made to the Hillsdale GOP um, about the hoax and about the really disgusting thing he said about the governor. I just let him know that I was going to be talking about that publicly as a courtesy, you know, like I'm going to give you a heads up, I'm going to be uh, coming at you. And he said, okay. And then he was walking away from me when he turned around and decided to come back and tell me that he was going to double down on his theory about the about January 6th. So I was just really kind of shocked that that happened. Shirky doubling down just hours after a secret video was made public in which he said the Capitol attack was a hoax, while also making other disparaging comments like that he contemplated fistfighting Governor Gretchen Whitmer and that the GOP, quote, spanked her on budget negotiations. The state's top Republican now facing calls to resign or at the very least step down from Senate leadership. That's a question for the uh, Senate Republican caucus to answer. You know, they have a majority in the Senate. They have the ability to merit out whatever type of accountability that they see fit. But I will say uh, that if they do not choose to take action, it is frankly a tacit endorsement of, of the, the actions and the behavior and the words of the Senate Majority Leader. Gilchrist calling it disappointing and a distraction from important work that needs to be done. That kind of rhetoric is not okay, it's not acceptable. And, and, and we need to move past that. And, and, and that has really been a blockade. It makes it difficult to work together. Prior to the hot mic encounter with the lieutenant governor, Senator Shirky said his comments were not fitting for his role that he's privileged to serve, saying he regrets the words he chose. That's the crux of the apology issued earlier this week. He has not talked to the press since the incident. For Fox 17 News, I'm Aaron Parsegian.